61A, lecture number 29. Announcements. Folks, we're moving the final exam so that the whole course can be completed before the drop deadline and PNP deadline, which I think is going to be on May 6th. So instead of a final exam, we'll have three in-lecture exams, 50 minutes each, during the last week of regular lecture. That's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, April 27th, April 29th, and May 1st. And we're splitting up the content for the course across these exams, so you know what to prepare for on each day. Monday's exam will cover everything through mutable functions, which includes higher-order functions, recursions, lists, and mutation, but we're leaving out trees for Wednesday. Wednesday will cover everything through midterm two, with a focus on classes, iterators, and trees. And then the final exam on Friday will focus on stuff after the midterm, scheme, interpreters, and SQL. What's SQL? Well, that's the topic of today's lecture. And we'll have three lectures on SQL today, Friday, and next Monday, and then we'll have covered all the required content for the course. These in-lecture exams will be 34 points each. If you get all those points, you get 102 out of 100 on the final exam. And more details about the exam format will be available soon. We will be offering alternate times for people in inconvenient time zones or which have course conflicts, and we'll collect that information shortly. In order to make sure that you have enough time to prepare for these exams, I have revised the lecture lab discussion and homework schedule. You can take a look at what's there now. The total number of homework assignments has been reduced from 11 to 10. There were always 20 points allocated to homework. Now all the homework assignments will be two points each. Homework eight and homework nine are actually just two parts of the same homework, but you get two homework credits for them. So four total points, but they're both a kind of half length. Normally all those questions appear on one homework, but we're splitting it up just to give you some flexibility. All of the required lecture content will conclude next Monday. Next Wednesday, I'll do some examples that I think will help you prepare for the exams. And we'll have some other review sessions run by the staff and student groups in order to help you get ready. You will have a full two weeks between the last lecture that introduces new content and the beginning of the exams themselves. But in that time, you'll need to be finishing up the scheme project and homework nine. So I agree that the schedule is a little bit condensed relative to a normal schedule. But because of all the optional content shifting to the end, it's not dramatically more condensed than a typical semester. And so, based on all the comments that I got from students over the last day, it seems like this is better overall, on average at least, than the alternative of dragging this course out all the way until the scheduled final exam time. I didn't put any extra credit problems on the scheme project. Instead, I'm going to give three points of extra credit for anyone who completes the practice exam that we will offer on Friday the 24th of April. I think it's a really a good idea to try out an exam in exam-like conditions using the same format that we'll use for the final exam, which I'll have to describe later when we finally work it out. And so to encourage everybody to do that, I'll give you some extra credit points. So let's glance quickly at what's to come. We're here. Scheme is due two weeks from yesterday. But really, I recommend just getting some of it done this week and finishing it up next week. It's a shorter version of the scheme project than in previous semesters because we've removed these optional topics. So you can certainly complete it in the next eight or nine days. And then you'll be clear of the scheme project and can focus on other things. We'll cover in lecture all of the SQL topics which is three lectures worth of material. Then next Monday, you'll have a lab on SQL. Next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you'll have a discussion on SQL. This homework will have a few SQL questions that are fairly straightforward. This one will have a couple that are a little bit more involved. And we're going to try to post them both by Friday so that if you want to complete them ahead of time and get that out of the way, you can't. And then lecture is just going to jump into some optional fun topics. You can watch them on the date they're released, or you can watch them later on in life. Either way, it should be fine. There are some cool demos in these lectures, so I hope you watch them at some point. And during that week, between when required lecture content ends and you take the exams, we'll have a lab and a discussion about final review. 
And why is this here? I think it'll probably move. Let me work on that. Okay, so then this will all lead up to a practice exam that you can take if you want, but since it's worth extra credit points, I certainly recommend it. Then you'll take the exam, the final week of classes, and these dates are in RRR week, where we'll talk about advanced topics related to scheme. So if you haven't gotten enough scheme yet, work on the project. After that, if you still want more scheme, well, you'll have a chance to learn about it in lecture after the course required material is over. And my goal is to have your final grades computed on 5, 6, Wednesday, so that you'll know what your grade is before you have to elect whether to have a letter grade appear on your transcript. So what's going on right now is that Lab 10 is due tomorrow, Homework 7 is due on Friday, and then you have the Scheme Project, which if you want all the points, you have to start soon because the first checkpoint is due on Tuesday. But you should make progress on it this week. Don't wait till next week. And checkpoint two is due next Friday, but I'd really recommend finishing the whole project by next Friday so that you have it out of the way. You'll get an early submission point for finishing it anytime before Monday the 20th. And if you really want more time, you can have up until Tuesday the 21st. I'm not gonna move this deadline because I think that you should have the flexibility to spend more time on the project if you really want to. But based on the size of the project, you really could get it done next week and that's what I'd recommend if you have the capacity to do so. Thanks for your patience and flexibility as we work through the details of this unusual semester. I know it's been rough, but at least now we have a plan. And the next step in that plan is to learn about a new programming language called SQL. Here we go.